Um, I've just seen a post on one of the motorhome forums on Facebook, and obviously I'm just sitting in my car thinking about it. Um, and it's someone who said, what do you do with these motorhomes? You pay 60, 70, 80,000 pounds for them, you take them home, you have a couple of trips. Um, people will ha still have jobs. They sit there, you don't use them. Well, uh, I just uh, I videoed my thought, because as everyone knows, if you look at my YouTube channel, I video everything. But um, anyway, we had a £12,000 Peugeot. Um, made all the mistakes. It had a little bit of damp. It had perished tyres. It had um, a rusty exhaust. Um, there was something else wrong with it. I can't even remember what it was. But all the classic mistakes we made, £12,000. Oh, I can remember. It was quite a biggie. The head gasket went. So this is a low miles. The guy had kept it in a garage. He just went and turned it over every week. He wrote a book. We had all the miles. But because he only turned it over, um, the exhaust rotted um, due to condensation in the back box. So low miles can be a problem in any motorhome. Just bear that in mind. So we used this motorhome and did about 12,000 miles across Europe in it. No problem. Came back, left our jobs. Yeah, left our jobs. No pension, no nothing, no income. And bought a, uh, downsized our house. So we went from a really nice village to a not so desirable place and bought a brand new house. And a small one. And then we bought a new motorhome. So to cut to the chase, our old motorhome did exactly the same as our new motorhome. They all do the same job. They all get you from A to B. They all get you amazing, amazing experiences. You can wild camp in them all unless they're too big. You can experience everything in a £5,000 motorhome that you can in a £200,000 motorhome. It's just that some of these motorhomes are so plush. So, if you're not going to use it, don't go and buy a blooming 60, 70, 80,000 pound motorhome. It's such a waste of money. Go and get yourself a cheaper one. Yes, you might be driving down the road. Yes, it might be an old Peugeot. Yes, you might see one that looks like a, a brand new motorhome. Everyone's smiley, smiley, but they all do the same job. Do not waste your money on a 60, 70, 80,000 pound motorhome if you're not going to use it. It's absolutely mad. Get yourself a cheaper one, use it when you want, keep it nicely serviced, make sure the cam belt's done, and even if you want to, hire it out. Just hire your motorhome out. You probably wouldn't do it to a 60, 70 or 80,000 pound one, although I uh, did post something about that from the NEC, but someone thought I was advertising for a certain company, so um, I deleted it. But buy a cheaper one, get the enjoyment out of it, Make sure the layout's right. And when you're ready, when you can leave work, when you can go away for a month or two, get the more expensive one like us. Get the right layout, get a 7 metre one, 8 metre one, and go and enjoy it. But you don't have to buy one that much. They all do the same job. Just think about the money you're spending. Because when you want to sell that motorhome, I'll tell you this now. Motorhome dealers, if you buy one for 50, you are not going to get, when you drive that off, you're not going to get 40 back for that the second you've driven it away. I'll tell you that now. They will make at least 10,000 on every single motorhome they sell. At least 10,000. They will happily take your money. They will happily sell you another one. That's already got another 10 on it. They're win, win, win. Make sure it's right. And make sure you're going to use it. Otherwise, just hire one. And that's my lecture from my... Uh, whatever my thoughts.